In this video, I will tell you how to include a whiteboard in during a Google Meet meeting. So sometimes it becomes mandatory to use a board so that you can, uh, if you are uh, teaching something while uh, having an online session, so you can conduct a, a, a whiteboard session during a Google Meet meeting. So for that, uh, you need to be in a meeting. So right now I am in a meeting and uh, to share a board, you need to click on present now button. And from present now, I'm going to select a window. So we are going to select a window and whatever tab we are going to open in this. So this tab I'm going to share. All right. So the notification has come up. Meet.google.com is sharing a window. Uh, so as you can see, this key screen is being presented. So one of the boards we have studied earlier is the jam board. So let's try to import it into our Google Meeting. So you can see uh, we have we are on the Google Jamboard website and google.com meet.google.com is sharing this window and I'm going to create a new Jamboard. Uh, we have already given a session on Jamboard so if you do not know about Jamboard so please visit this, that session. So here, here is your whiteboard in the meeting itself. Now you can start writing or providing notes to the students. All right. So this has already been uh, covered in the previous sessions, how to use a Jamboard. All right. Now after that, the one amazing thing I found out about this is that you can directly share this board with your students or whoever you like. So this is the share button since this Jamboard is available on your drive and if you click on this share button, you can share it with any of your students or your fellow colleagues or teachers who want to uh, see whatever you have taught or they want to share some information or you have a co-teacher with you so that they can know whatever has been covered. So. Uh, I'm, this is showing this person is the owner and I can share this with the specific person's names. So let's say if I select anyone from these and I can share this with them. Also, if I want to share it with my class, so since it is not possible to write uh, the names of all the students so uh, and email IDs of all the students, so it is better to provide them a link. So in the second option, in the second tab, you can see it is showing the get link option and it is restricted only to the people who can uh, open this link. So you can co copy this link and but before that, uh, since it is restricted, so you can change these settings here, change to anyone with this link. So the anyone with this link now can view. All right. If you want to change the viewing settings, they can edit also. If you want your students to edit on your board, if you like want to like have an interactive session, like you write the question and they answer or at the same time, then you can keep the editor mode on. All right. You have uh, typed the editor mode and now you can copy this link, copy link and you are done. All right. Now you can copy this link and you go back to the meeting and where uh, you have chat you can click on the chat button and paste this link and send and now this link is available to the everyone who is present in the class now they can directly access this board and edit it while you are teaching all right so at the uh, so here you can see you are also available and teachers uh, the students can also access the same board with along with you they can also write answers all right right now i'm logged in from one account otherwise i would have demonstrated how a teacher and student are working together on the same board but this has already been explored uh, jamboard so this is how it works so this is how you can import a, a whiteboard into your google meeting all right so we'll see another board in the next video